Hi everybody, this is Nate once again with a Photoshop tutorial for y'all. And um, this is basically kind of a part two, a more advanced version of the uh, basics of layer masks or layer masking, I don't remember what it's called. Um, but that first video that I did, because I, I think it helped a lot of people understand about layer masks and all that sorts of stuff. So um, I'm going to dive right into it. I'm going to kind of move a little, kind of fast, just um, because there's a lot that I want to cover. Um, so you can just roll it back if you don't know, you know, if you need to see it again. Anyway, so I have my background layer right here. I'm going to hit Command J and just make a copy of that. I do this just to uh, make sure that it's non-destructive and also it won't have this lock on it, which is talk about that some other time. So, and I'm going to hold down my command key and press the new layer icon. That's going to make a new layer, a blank layer, underneath this layer above the, uh, which is a copy of the background. And I'm going to, assuming that my, my color palette over here is set to default, I'm going to hit the command key and the delete key and it will fill this background with um, white. So I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm just going to make some text. And it makes a new layer, of course, which is pretty sweet. I'm just going to write out the and I'm going to hit Command T and transform this just like this. So it's a little bit, just a little bit bigger because it's kind of tricky to uh, get it that big in the text thing. Uh, it's not that bad, but anyway. So now I'm going to hold down my command key and click on this layer right here that has the on it. And it will load this text as a selection. It will load any text as a selection like that. Um, so now I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to then click on this copy of my background which I made right there, I'm going to click the new layer icon. And as you can see, this is actually the effect that I wanted. It has taken our selection and um, made it visible, it's made that white, made everything else black. It's great. So if I were to move this around, it looks fine in the white and stuff like that because everything else is not showing. Now, you can see down here on my icon that um, if I were to shift click off this, which takes it, just turns it off for a second, um, it's moving it all around the, the image. I mean, it's moving the image around when I move the text around as well. So I'm just going to Command Z and Command Alt Z keeps going backwards. I'm just going to undo that. So what you got to do is unclick this little link right here, and then you can move this around anywhere in your image and just get a pretty cool, pretty neat effect. You also transform it, Command T, holding down Alt and Shift, just scale that up, do whatever. Also, you can move your image around inside of the text. So if you had something that you really wanted to show um, for the text or whatever, that's, you know, I mean, parts of the image, you can just kind of work that in like that. So. That's that. Um, I'm just, so I'm just going to get rid of all these. I almost, yeah, anyway. So that's that. Now what if I had something where it was like I needed more than one of the same um, adjustment, uh, the layer mask, <laughs> excuse me, layer mask here. What I'm going to do is grab this uh, I just made a copy of it again, Command J, and uh, I need to get another image in here. Like this is just an image of a tree. I'm gonna put it in there. See how that didn't quite line up? Well, that's because I didn't hold down Shift, but when I dropped it. So anyway, like what if I needed? So I'm just gonna grab my marquee tool, and I wanted to make it so this part was visible so I'm gonna hit the new layer icon so there's just this little chunk right here but I also wanted to adjust this in some way say I 
changed my blend mode to multiply. So it's really dark. See that? Um, and say I didn't have this. I'm just going to get rid of this for a second so it'll show my point. Um, so what you can do is just hold down the Alt key and drag this mask to the next mask and that will duplicate it to the next layer. I also want to note that you can do that with a lot of stuff actually. If you have, um, like say if I had this, Command J, if I just had this floating around, I think it'll work. I could just hold down Alt and make a copy of it. It automatically makes a copy. And uh, that's just a neat little trick that you can do in there. So that's how you copy them. The cool part is, instead of, like if I had, let's say, it's really more like if I had like this. I'm going to get rid of all my layer masks here. Oops. If I had this, grab this. So, say if I had this on top of this, and I made a copy of it, and on this one, I um, did something like, I'll just grab this down here, made a new layer right there. And on this, I wanted to have multiply or something, and then another one I wanted to have soft light or screen or, Something something like that. Well, you can just alt drag all of these so it has all the effects on it like that. But then, if I have to modify it, if I say, oh, you know, what if I had it like that as well, right? Well, then I have to replace each one of these and say replace mask, blah, blah, blah. That's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is just to... Um, group all these, so shift clicking first to last and pressing command G and I would just drag this onto the group so now, oh actually I can't select more than one mask at the same time um, so now, get rid of this mask get rid of this mask, like that so we can have a bunch of blend modes and so, stuff like that and I can easily modify just one mask instead of having to go in here and uh, modify a bunch of other masks just like that. Um, so I think that is just about it for now. Um, I was thinking about going into a more a really complex thing but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm just going to kind of keep this short. So that just shows you that you can uh, you can group these together and keep them in a group that way you know, you're not modifying a million masks every single time you do it, and you can uh, just use one mask for anything you need. And, uh, and that little text effect was kind of neat as well. I would encourage you to mess around with that. And I'll see you later. This has been Nate. Bye.